This, in a lot of ways, is Stallone and Rocky's ultimate biggest fight. There's so much at stake. Hey guys, by now I'm sure you all heard about that Drago spinoff, right? And some of you even sent that to me. So when I initially heard about it, I'm like, oh cool, Drago spinoff. You know, because Drago was really cool in Creed 2 and it'd be kind of cool to see that movie. But then like I read Splunk's Instagram post and find out like he's got no involvement in it and he's actually quite pissed off. So I can't support that film if they ever make it. But initially I was thinking, hey, they should do Clever Lang next, right? We haven't seen him in a while. Politics, man. This country wants to keep me down. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to tell you the real reason why Stallone is so upset uh, due to lack of ownership rights, and it has nothing to do with money, right? Some things are way more important and valuable than money. This house and the cars and all the stuff we got, that ain't everything. It's a lot more than this. Money can't buy everything. Stallone's got enough anyway. He's worth like half a billion dollars. Do you really think he needs more money? It's not about the money, man. But I'm going to break that whole thing down. I'm going to I'm gonna basically summarize what went on. You could kind of read about the story in The Hollywood Reporter or Variety or even just follow the Instagram posts, which are now deleted. Uh, Dolph Lundgren actually responded to one of Sly's Instagram posts, by the way. But anyway, I'm going to just to catch everyone up to speed, kind of summarize that and then let you know what I know. Because if you really research it, this has been bugging him for a long time, but at least more in the public sphere on his Instagram over the last couple of years. You got to kind of read between the lines, but I got something even better than that. I'm not going to tell you how I got it, but I was able to gather way more insight into the whole situation. I'll just leave it at that. So anyway, if you like this kind of video, please help support the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment on the video. Help, help the engagement. It'll, it'll be good for YouTube. Okay, so before even like reading the Instagram post, I just kind of seen this announcement on Drago that somebody sent me. I was like, oh, cool. And then I read the post, and this has since been deleted, but you even see it says like by Real Viking Samurai. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. But anyway, a lot of people like this. Uh, on that post, that screen grab over 179,000 people. So Stallone wrote, another heartbreaker. Just found this out. Once again, this pathetic 94-year-old producer and his moronic, useless, vultured children, Charles and David, are once again picking clean the bones of another wonderful character I created without even telling me. I apologize to the fans. I never wanted Rocky characters to be exploited by these parasites. By the way, I once had nothing but respect for Dolph, but he never told me about what was going on behind my back with the character I created for him. Real friends are more precious than gold. Wow. And then, uh, <laughs> so that happened. And then Dolph actually replied on Instagram himself. He said, just to set the record straight, regarding a possible Drago spinoff, there's no approved script, no deals in place, no director, and I was personally under the impression that my friend Sly Stallone was involved as a producer or even as an actor. There was a press leak last week which was unfortunate. I'm in touch with Mr. Balboa just so all the fans can relax. There you go. And I'd really want to believe that, and that very well might be true, so hopefully uh, their friendship is still intact. Maybe he was under the impression that Sly knew about it, but he should have still probably called him, right? I'm sure he's got his number and his cell phone. I mean, they did work on the Expendables 4 together recently, and he should have just said, oh, hey, Sly, you know, mention the Dolph screenplay and ask if he's writing or if he's a part of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know why, man. It, it's always like the lack of communication that creates these misunderstandings and, and just uh, creates a rift. So hopefully it was just a misunderstanding. I don't know. Actually, Sly, I think on Instagram would have to clarify that if... Uh, if it was indeed a misunderstanding, man. They, they had an amazing friendship, and if you think about it, Dolph owes Stallone a lot. I mean, Stallone basically created his career. Stallone, Paul One will know my name. Drago. Drago. Like, when, when people talk about Dolph Lundgren, they talk about Drago. You, no one's talking about, like, Master of the Universe. No one's talking about Red Scorpion. I'll talk about sometimes Showdown in Little Tokyo because that was a cool team up between him and Brandon Lee. But aside from that, man, it's uh, people talk about Drago, man. It's synonymous with Dolph, just like Rocky and Rambo are synonymous with Sylvester Stallone. On another Instagram post, and this is amazing artwork, by the way, with uh, Erwin Winkler as a vampire sucking Rocky dry. Uh, anyway, Stallone said, After Erwin Winkler and family suck Rocky dry, presumed to be the most hated, untalented, decrepit, producer in Hollywood and his cowardly children have found their next meal. Drago. Bon Appetit. 
Why, Dolph? Throughout history, so many artists in every industry, recording, painting, writing, you name it, have been destroyed by these bloodsuckers who have destroyed so many families, lining their pockets with other people's creativity. Let's get ready to rumble. So from what I heard, as far as like the Winkler children, they just, uh, Charles and David, they they never worked. They never had to earn anything. They, they're just spoiled children, but they have this great power that they like to wield. And one of the issues is that they have blocking rights like the Urban Winklers, they have blocking rights over what Stallone wants to do with his own character, his own creation. So Stallone wanted to do a prequel with Rocky, like a TV series, but they blocked that. And the other producer, by the way, Robert Shardoff has passed, but his son, Bill Shardoff, I've heard, actually agrees that they should give Stallone ownership rights. So that guy gets it, right? He's not dealing out of greed. He's, he's dealing out of uh, being a good human being, but not only that, just... He knows what's best for the character, man. Like, it's it's just so obvious that Stallone needs to be involved, but he has to have ownership. Bill Chardoff actually, uh, I believe, greenlit the prequel as far as, like, was on board. Uh, but the Winkler shut that down, unfortunately. And that's also the issue with Rocky Seven. Sloan was even talking about that. You know, Sloan's excited. And he actually uh, made a comment on one of his Instagram posts where he said, I had a great, great idea for Rocky number seven, except the useless producer Urban Winkler always has to mess it up for me. He just kills a spirit. It's like, man. And that's the issue, though, by the way. So remember when earlier in the video I said it's not about money. It's about control it's about creative control it's about stallone who created these characters and he's stifled he can't even do what he wants with them and the other issue is like the urban winkler family they could do whatever the hell they want with rocky they, they could end up making a film and cast somebody else who's not stallone and make rocky like a bad guy and and that would really suck if they went in that direction um but it must be frustrating creating something that the entire world is in love with and then not having any control, not able to continue the direction it needs to go, being blocked, and then having other people involved who had nothing to do with this creation. I mean, granted, Irwin Winkler himself was a producer, uh, him and Chardoff. So from the early days, yeah, they, they, they did help in a way. But go, going back to that, Stallone was very young at the time. I'm sure you guys all know the story. He was that writer. He was an actor that didn't really do much work. But he's like, look, I wrote this amazing screenplay. I'm broke, but I'm not going to sell it unless I can star in it. And then history was made. So he might have been young and naive and didn't really think he had that power back then to get some kind of like rights for the character. But pretty sure he was manipulated back then. In fact, even just a few years ago, he had lawyers trying working for him that he paid, by the way trying to get these rights trying to get some sort of rights for the rocky character so he has like creative control as he should and i'll tell you a reason why he should in a moment but basically these lawyers from what i heard backstabbed them they were working behind sloan's back working with the winklers so they got him nothing so so, so what are you what are you saying there ain't nothing i can do no, about it. stallone was paying these guys and they basically stabbed him in the back like how could that not piss you off I mean, these are people are supposed to be like working and fighting for you and you're paying them and then they basically screw you over. So you don't really see Stallone get that upset, right? Like he, he's very composed. He doesn't really get involved in like controversial stuff out there in the public. But him putting out these Instagram posts, you could tell this has been bugging him for a very long time. And this is going to be a time when you're going to have to do things that other people don't think are right, but they're going to be right for you. And sometimes you just got to vent. And let it out and and i thought he did a tremendous job doing that in fact that's one reason why i wanted to make this video i even wanted to create a petition on change.org but somebody beat me to the punch so to speak someone actually made one a week ago which i'm going to link in the description below you guys need to sign it i actually signed it you guys need to sign it we, we gotta get a lot of people to sign it but basically the petition on change.org we want sylvester sloan to have full creative control over rocky balboa tony de Gennaro actually started the petition and he said, we, the undersigned, call on Mr. Erwin Winkler and his children to allow Mr. Sylvester Stallone to assert full creative control over the fictional character of his own creation, that of Rocky Balboa. You guys, again, read this whole thing, but basically it kind of breaks it down quite well. Recently, Mr. Stallone has expressed the desire to make multiple entries in the Rocky universe, including a seventh Rocky film in which Rocky actively works to improve the struggling and impoverished Philadelphia neighborhood of Kensington. 
Mr. Stallone has also drafted a Rocky prequel TV series in which the teenage years of Rocky, Adrian Polly, Tony Gazzo, and others would be explored in the setting of 1960s Philadelphia, which sounds like an amazing idea. Furthermore, the petition says Rocky is so much more than a movie character. He is a cultural icon that has persisted for 45 years in countries all over the world, a symbol of what it means to go the distance, to push oneself to fight against all obstacles and keep moving forward. So this, in a lot of ways, is Stallone and Rocky's ultimate biggest fight there's so much at stake so the problem with the winklers is they never wanted rocky balboa to get made do you know how hard that movie was to get made and i actually heard one of the sons th his job was basically to sign antonio tarver and he basically kind of said he did and then they started shooting the film but then tarver basically said i never signed anything and i'm not even going to show up like to shoot this scene unless you give me you know and he had all the leverage at this point right i think he said you got to give me like four million dollars and it's like stallone and everyone's like looking at the son who i, I guess is just a buffoon because he can't get anything done like he had one job sign antonio tarver he dropped the ball he didn't do it anyway i don't know where they came up with the four million dollars but tarver had a nice payday because of uh, the incompetence right and i also heard that uh one of the winkler sons was basically on set the whole time for rocky balboa and even was trying to tell stallone's character rocky what, what to say in each scene it's like wait a minute man let me tell you what stallone has stallone has the midas touch so just continuing the franchise uh, with Rocky or doing something that Stallone is not on board with, it's it's not going to work, man. Like, you guys know and realize how amazing Rocky Balboa is. And, and to be honest with you, I, I don't mind admitting this. I'm man enough to admit this. There were literally only two times I've ever cried as an adult. One was when my cat died. Yeah, she's such an amazing creature. It's so sad that she passed. But, you know, I'm man enough to admit that. Like, that that was, you know, my the cat love of my life in many ways. And then the other time was watching Rocky Balboa in the theater because Stallone has a way not only to inspire and motivate, but to really touch you. Like, at the core of your humanity, that, that's what these movies do. And they're brilliant. There's so many fight films, man, and some of them are exciting, some of them are okay, some of them suck. But Rocky, it, it's just so different because that is the kind of movie that can create that kind of experience that can you know, cause an otherwise stoic person like myself to actually shed a tear in the theater, man, because I feel something. So he's got the Midas touch. In fact, he's going to go down as a creative genius, an amazing artist that people will talk about when we're all gone. Well, when we're all gone, hundreds of years from now, thousands, he's going to, he's basically going to be like how people talk about Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo. Movies like Rocky, movies like Rocky Balboa that just left their mark and made this world a better place in a lot of ways because it impacted so many lives. So Stallone has to be involved in anything Rocky related. Again, he's got the Midas touch. These Irwins, they got the rights to it, but they don't have the Midas touch. They don't know what the hell they're doing with it, man. In fact, I'll tell you all about Creed 3 in the next video. And I think there's a much bigger reason why it was delayed. And that's going to be an interesting topic of conversation. But anyway, make sure to sign that petition because Stallone needs those ownership rights. And again, it's not about the money. It's about creative control. It's about the principle. It's about doing what's right. It's about making sure that even when Stallone's gone, like his family will carry on the legacy and make sure it's done right. Like we all deserve that as fans, as an audience. And he deserves that because this is creation. Come on. The only thing I'm asking you guys to leave on the table is what's right.